Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the steps involved in crop production. So crop production can be a very easy task, but it can also be a very hard task depending on how you take this or the approaches that you involve yourself in. So in this video, we'll be tackling the first part of crop production and in the next subsequent video we shall test tackle the second part. So let's dive right into our video. The first steps of crop production involve uh, acquiring the necessary knowledge to produce a particular crop. You can acquire knowledge from all these platforms like social media, you can read books, you can attend farmers training, you can attend seminars, all this will give you the necessary knowledge that you require to produce a particular crop. Knowledge also involves you understanding the characteristics of the area you come from in terms of rainfall, topography, altitude, you know, sunlight and all these factors that are prerequisites to producing a specific crop. Having all this knowledge in mind, it will be easier now to select the specific crop for your area and then now you can begin the physical process of crop production. The second step of crop production will be on land preparation. Generally, you can plow your land, do second, primary tillage, secondary tillage, but it's important to appreciate that each plant has its own uh, requirements in terms of the tilt and the depth of plow that will ensure that you get uh, proper yields. So when preparing land, you need to put all this into consideration. You can also, preparing land also might involve uh, land clearing, making of planting beds and all that. Depending on the method of uh, starting the plant, uh, the third part of crop production will be actually establishing the crop. And establishing the crop, uh, you can start the crop directly in the field, for example, when it comes to corn. And this is specifically for large seeded plants and also plants that have a very long root, so making it impossible to uproot and transplant. But you can as well start them in uh, nurseries or in cold frames. All these are specifically for plants that uh, need to be transplanted into the field. They need to be nurtured in the nursery and then transplanted into the field or the greenhouse. It's important to appreciate that when planting seeds, uh, the size of the seed will determine the depth of planting. So you need to look into all this. Also when planting, you should consider the correct spacing to get the proper yields. Also, you need to consider if you are using mechanization to get the proper space that will allow the movement of machinery. As well, if you want to intercrop, you should put all this into consideration. And as well as the size of the plant, once it's fully matured, should dictate the spacing that you'll take. So in this two-part series, we've looked at part one of this series and we've said we are talking about the getting knowledge, land preparation and plant establishment. These are very crucial parts when it comes to crop production. We hope you've enjoyed this video and you'll uh, anticipate for the second part of the same. But until the next video, ciao and keep growing.